Mike Powers, am I glad to see you? Glad to see you too, Tony. Sorry I'm late, but uh, there's a lot of traffic coming in from the airport. As long as you're here. I uh, picked up your cable in Istanbul. What's all the big emergency? And how come you wanted me to meet you here instead of at the office? Well, meeting you here wasn't my idea. It was Kurt Latham's. Kurt Latham. Oh, yeah, he was a freelance correspondent in Berlin, wasn't he? He was as a good tense. He was killed this afternoon. What? Oh, I'll tell you, but wait a second. You knew Emil Valescu, didn't you? The master spy of the Middle East? Sure. He was killed in 1949. How? Oh. He was killed by an alarm clock. There just happened to be attached to a bomb in his car. In 1949? That's right. But why all this interest in a dead man? And how did Mike, how sure are you that Emil Valescu is dead? What makes you think he isn't? Gentlemen. And a beer. Two, please. Mike, I think through Kurt Latham, I have run into the biggest undercover operation in the world today. Something that has been built and planned since 1949, starting with the so-called death of Emil Valescu. Got any evidence to back this up? Valescu's top secret document was a list of names of the many controls. Kurt got it. Kurt was murdered this afternoon. And they got the list? No, they didn't. What? I let it get around that I had the list. But you don't? No. That's putting a gun up to your head, too. I know. Wow. Well, you gotta get out of here. You're in the same spot Kurt was in. Yes, but what about the list and Valescu? Well, wait a minute, Tony. Go right to the airport. Get the first plane you can to any place, any place at all. But just get out of the country. Excuse me, sir. Is one of you gentlemen named Anthony Forrest? Yes, I am. There's a telephone call for you, sir. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Wait a minute, Tony. Who knows you're here? Well, I left word at the office in case something came in from you or about Valescu. Oh, okay. Beer, sir. Oh, thank you. Hey, where's the other one? I beg your pardon, sir? We ordered two beers. I'm very sorry, sir. Who ordered two beers? I ordered one. The other gentleman ordered one that makes two. Yes, sir. But what other gentleman? The one over. Where is who? The man who was at the telephone. The man who was sitting at the table here with me. You mean there were two men? One at the telephone? One sitting with you? You. All right. Now let me go. Where I is he? I don't know he? what you're talking about. Let me go. Where is he? What's happened to him? What's going on here? Where is the man who was at the telephone? What telephone, sir? That telephone. I stopped playing games. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's absolutely impossible, sir. I couldn't have called somebody to the telephone. Why not? Because the telephone has been out of order for three days, sir. It doesn't even work. Who owns this place? Mr. Schroeder. Where is he? Just in the back through that door. This phone is out of order. Kidnapped from your cafe. I said a man has just been kidnapped from your cafe.
I said. Oh, man, he's been killed after me. Stop it! Stop it! I want to know where he is and who took him. Don't be a fool! Am I interrupting something? Do you know something about this? So many things happened in this cafe that no one should know anything about. He says someone was kidnapped from the cafe. Really? A man or a woman? A man. A friend of mine. That doesn't seem possible. Why should anyone want to do that? I'll tell you why. We were discussing a list with men's names on it. A very important list. Really? Why? Because this list contained the names of men, very powerful men throughout the Middle East, who are organized and have sold out and are ready to betray their countries into starting a war that could start another world war. That's very interesting. Your friend was taking a big chance to have such a list. That's what I told him. But uh, the men who kidnapped him were wasting their time. Really? Why? Because uh, he gave the list to me. And now I have it. <laughs> You're uh, spilling the cognac. If you know anyone who wants to talk to me, I'll, uh, I'll be at the bar. You are a fool. You have beautiful eyes. You had a chance to escape. But now it's too late. I thought they were blue. But they're gray. Why did you do it? Light gray. They are waiting for you now. Who are they? I could show you where we are with the bag. It's not guarded, because I don't expect you to know the way. Who are they? You're a fool if you think you can beat them. Who are them? Can I give you a lift, Mr. Powers? Oh, I wouldn't want to trouble you. No trouble at all. Thanks. I, uh, I think I'll walk.
give you a lift, Mr. Powers? I wouldn't want to trouble you. No trouble at all. Thanks, I think I will. How much farther to Valeski's place? How do you know we're going to Valeski's place? just told me. You're a Galahad. Because I didn't take the way out you offered me? That probably seems very brave and noble to you. Going to the rescue of a friend. Wouldn't you have done it? No. Would your conscience have bothered you later on? No. You don't mind if I disagree with you? No. Look, why did you offer me a way out? I liked you. Was that uh, past tense? You're a dead man, Mr. Powers. Everything for dead men is past tense. What are you laughing about? Valeski's plan for the control of the Middle East. The international wheels of intrigue to capture the world. And they all stop because of a flat tire. He says to tell you to change the tire. You tell him dead men can't change tires. Er sagt, es wird es nicht machen. Gib mir ein Revolver. Do you smoke cigarettes? I have some. <laughs> What's your name? Laurie. Nice name. For the little time I have left, you'll have to call me Mike. All right. Mike. How long have you been singing at that club? Almost a year. Is uh, this kind of thing always part of the job? There are parts of any job that aren't always pleasant. Is it always this unpleasant? The world left me alone. Without a country, without a background. I don't fight for anything or anyone. But I work for whoever pays me. What are we going to do? It's what you're going to do. What do you mean? Change the tire. What? Change the tire. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You've got grease all over your face. Here. What did you expect? A clinical operation? No, no, the other side. Now you're in control, Mike. What do you do next? Well, there are a couple things I could do. I could keep right on going to Valeski's house. You don't know where it is. You'll tell me. And, uh, 
suppose I don't. I'll beat it out of you. I could try shooting my way in and out of there with Tony. You'll never make it. Yeah, that's what I figured. But uh, there is another way. Here is your handkerchief back. They're expecting me to arrive with my hands in the air and uh, your gun in my back. They'll be disappointed. Let's not disappoint them. You said you work for whoever pays you the most. And yet back at the club, you offered me a way out. And you did it again out here. Let's uh, put it this way. I'm asking for that way out now. But my way. Help me to get in there and get Tony out. What about him? We can bluff our way without him. We pretend you're my prisoner. That's it. Give me the gun. When do I get the bullets? On the way out. You drive. Mr. Powers, and keeps your hands up. Not long enough, Mr. Valescu. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Ah, you haven't changed. Always joking. Nice work, Lauren. Where's the guard? I left him downstairs. You shouldn't have done it, Mike. You could have gotten away. He's right, Mr. Powers. You could have. Give me the list. Sorry. Give me the list. I don't have it. He doesn't have it. I told you he didn't. If he doesn't, I'll kill him myself. Search him. I've got it. The list, Mr. Valescu. It was in the apartment of that journalist. Both you men are amazing. You lied to stop us from searching for this. And you lied to protect him. Unbelievably noble of you both. What? Where'd you get the bullet? One bullet, Mike. You forget when I took the clip out. That one bullet remains in the chamber. And you had it all along? All along. What's going on? I'll tell you later. Here. We have to fight our way out of here. To where? To the American consulate. We've got to get this list into his hands. There are nine names on that list. And it's worth a million dollars a name. And you've got a clip of bullets for your gun. The herd shot. Wait.
pretty neat if I say so myself. We got away without a scratch. Pretty lucky, too. You got the list? Sure. We should be at the casa in about an hour. Say, Lori, where did you learn to shoot like that? Oh, lucky. Lucky, she says. Probably have to wake him up. Lori, you go ahead, Tony. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. What are you doing? That's your country, Mike. Go ahead. Look, Lori, I'm no government expert or government official, but I think it can be your country, too. You have only known me a few hours, Mike. It's not that simple. Oh. Where'd you go from here? I think I'll stay here in Paris for a while. How long? How long do you want? I'll meet you. When? When you least expect me, Mike. 